women uh, should have abortions because um, uh, in God's eyes, you're killing a, a, a feet once it infuses into the egg. Um, yeah, it's it's a child. So a you're being. saying if a a woman and gets her pregnant, she Indeed. has to suck it up and have that baby no they matter what. They should suck it up and have that baby. When they're, when they're born, if they look like they're like this, we discard them. Okay. And if they look strong and manly, we keep them. Last no need for button. abortions, just mass killings. No abortion, I say you mass kill the vegetable. I'm, as you can see, I'm keeping the lids on quite heavily. A living cockroach. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Three, two... One, go, bamboozle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's hectic shit. Come on, we're gonna have to cut that one. Connor coming in now. One, one, two, two three. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And that is that. Is an entrance. Episode number 21 of the Marty Michael Fully Actual Podcast. And get ready, guys. We got a jam packed bang episode. Did for you hit you. record, Michael? Now, look, I'm gonna get the bad news out of the way, all right? Um, Tinder adventures. Um, look, last week we were away on our road trip all week and then we had a golf charity day on Friday and then the weekend was full of shit. So I have not tindered, tindered enough for it to be a segment this week, but, and I'm sorry. Okay. But next week it will return. All right. And then from then on, we'll, I'll, we'll aim for weekly mm. just so I'm sorry. I but, love a weekly hit of But Tinder. it's been a fucking hectic week last week. Didn't we all have a hectic week last week? It was a fucking fucking verkleiner. So wow. we went on a fucking big old road oh. trip. And uh, man, it's, it was exhausting. It was, exa it was like pretty relaxing, but like, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was, we did a lot of driving around and but got back on, on Thursday night and fucking tired as shit, man. Didn't help that we had a massive night on the last night going on the <laughs> you guys packed a lot of filming into a small amount of time. Yeah, we filmed a couple of website vids, we'd, and then we were just messing with each other a fair bit too, which got old pretty quick. Yeah, it's hard because there's just no like relief at the end of the day. It's just constant like your constant messing. <laughs> and we almost look. Let's just Don't. say that we were not welcome in Nimbin. No, yeah, we did a website video. Who can get highest while high? And, and you nearly um, died doing that? Yeah, I nearly died. Well, not. It was close to permanent damage. Yeah, so that'll be an interesting website video. But we were dressed as police um, and we we're trying to buy weed in Nimbin and the locals just did not like that. I, yeah. I'm going to put it out there. I, I reckon that and most people will find there was just one fuckwit that came over. And there was like go. three fuckwits. Yeah. Well, was there? And really? like, you know, I get it too. They don't like their little town being filmed Ooh. and being made a spectacle of. And, but you know, it is a usually, spectacle. They're usually such lovely people. And it's right. It's so different over there that it's like it's interesting. I, I, it's hard. If you're going to have a weed festival, your town's going to be a spectacle. Yeah. Would you ever live there, Matthew? Or have I could animal? live there. Not with an animal. But um, I could live there, yeah. It's quite nice. I can see you having sex with animals. When you get At around the bin. town, it's um, it's quite a lovely little yeah, town. It is beautiful. Yeah, so uh, hectic, hectic week last week. But I think we got some good videos in the bank. Some c tried to steal our drone. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. So we crazy. <laughs> we went on the wildest goose chase and we had to try and hunt it down and went... Basically, we ended up back where we started, and that's where it was the whole time. Yeah, so we were filming, we were just we were fishing for sharks, but like getting no nibbles, nothing. So we got the drone out, started sticking cash to it on a started bit of string, fishing for humans, <laughs> and then just giving it to people like on the shore. Yeah, and um, some asshole just grab like takes the money, gives it to the lady we intended to give to give it to, and then just yanks the drone down out of the air by the string and just takes it. Now I yeah. wish, like, a sort of part of me wishes that Did we f beat this beat shit out of it. No, no, no I'm gonna say when he yanked it down, it tore it tore his eyes yeah, off. But then we'd we'd sue us or something uh, like true. that. Yeah, well, we should have beat it. the shit out of him, and then he could sue us. Yeah, true. I wouldn't like. Yeah, I reckon I could take him. But anyway, we got all that. We'll just uh, yeah, we we're more more what worried about getting the drone back because it had like the SD card in it with lots of footage. <laughs> yeah, dude. So we didn't want to like so, come in guns blazed and be like, you stole our drone. <laughs> Literally, the shot before it was stolen was like. James doing these scenic sort of flybys of like the boat. circling the boat, yeah. And they're like sort of Marty's just got his dick out doing helicopters. <laughs> like they would have just had all yeah. this footage of you. So I really wanted to get that SD card back so someone didn't have that footage of me. Because <laughs> yeah. there's enough out there. <laughs> what was the, <laughs> what was oh. the, uh, the worry level of him having that? 
No, it was pretty like far away yeah. and like yeah. So it's it was like, just it was just a bit of a laugh, you yeah. know, to make okay. to make James laugh. But um, yeah, it would have been shit if some stranger had that footage. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last night was beautiful. We all had a few drinks and we, we sat in a houseboat. We're on a houseboat, but it's something fucking hilarious happened. There was like these meth addicts across the road. They were just in and out, and it got to like one or two in the morning. And we we're like, holy shit, there's still, there's cars coming by and we're just like, fuck meth. And then we heard like a little bit of a ruckus, a little bit of like angry like voices. And then this dude, this meth dude was just pacing back and forth. It was, and he was like a sort of across the river bit from us a we little bit. Yeah, so we're on, the, him. we're on the boat and no. so it's, they can't get to us. So we had a sense of like. Where, Protection. Yeah. And so I uh, started yelling out to this pacing meth head and man, it What he were you yelling? It was like, just hello, my little boy. <laughs> like, imagine boy. Arnold Fine sort of having a confrontation. It's like, bah, look, cool, more, look, cool, yeah. real, real condescendingly, like just to, like he's a like he's a kid. I was talking to him. And that first he, he like sort of ignored it because he was like, well, is that for me? And then he started realizing it was for him and he ignored it a bit more. But then he started getting really fucking agitated <laughs> by it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it started getting real angry and, and then the cops arrived. And, and yeah, the it police was a whole showed thing. Up. It was so a we whole think, thing. We think somebody else called the police on him being angry earlier. Yeah. And then they just showed up fashionably late. And by that time, Marty had aggravated him really badly. And then as soon as the cops left again, the cops were shining their torch at our boat, like trying to get us in. James was sitting there filming. They shine the torch on him and it just drops to the ground. <laughs> so they would have seen some guys in there and they just drop. <laughs> but anyway, they left. They didn't care what we were doing. And then as soon as they left, I started taunting that guy again. And man, it was good. Yeah, and he just, he, he admitted defeat in the end and just sort of stranded off into the night. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. It was it, a what good would laugh. we have done if he just started swimming over to us? I reckon... Like, look, there's five of us, so yeah, he's, it's not going to go down yeah, unless cool. he's got a used needle. That's what yeah, I would be worried about. What if we see a knife in his hand and he starts swimming? <laughs> a it's knife, even mouth, like, like a pirate. I'd, I'd just sort of, I'd be fine with a knife. But what? How would would nah. we throw shit at him before he gets to the boat and try and? But then we run the risk of killing him. No, nah, yeah, I would have been fine. Self defense. A guy's swimming at you with a knife. Yeah. No. What I'd, if he just wants to cut our fruit? We didn't have any fruit. We'd thrown it earlier oh. that day at him. <laughs> No, at birds and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys went and discovered Jurassic Park. No, f- oh, that, man. Dude, that was, was the dumbest idea we've ever, that was the worst thing we did on the trip. So James, Michael, and Marty went, jumped in the little dinghy boat and paddled across to this island and went exploring and they disappeared for so long. Oh man. And we heard cra- me and Luke were just sort of fishing and just chilling out. And we heard cracking and noises and, so and a few the streams. Two. Oh, Dude, oh, man. not a good mix. You shouldn't go. It, every step was thorns and I had no shoes on. So I just had to get used to stepping on thorns. It just be, oh, man. And then I realize now my feet still hurt because the thorns had snapped off and they're still in my feet. Yuck, man. Your feet. Did, Did you, you film in feet? there? Yeah, we filmed okay, all of so it. Okay, so there's going to be some of that on the web, in the website vlog, is that right? Yeah, there'll be like, we don't know if there's going to be enough for maybe two part series with the website because there's so much <laughs> shit that happened. Yeah, well, speaking of huge long website videos we released the whole boxing documentary last week so which have been out for two weeks now and um it's about an hour long but it's a good watch cooper did a very good job and um it's very interesting looking back at that journey yeah that you was forget. a good that was a very well done little doco it's it was funny like netflix like level the, the start of like sparring like how scared we were of, yeah man how I just, much time left it literally be like 20 seconds of sparring and it felt like an eternity and you should be too scared to throw a swing because you're just trying to protect yourself. Do you feel even more accomplished after seeing that little doco? Yeah, it makes you see how much we improved. Ooh. Yeah, it's good that we documented because I would have forgot how bad I was at the start. Well, I didn't. I just had no idea that. Yeah, the the different the how how crazy your level went. You by the time you got to the fight, you you're incredible. Yeah, we we're fucking animals, fucking legends. We fucking learn quick. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it showed because so many people were expected you to be just piece know, of shit and Michael, but you weren't. You came out Marty and Michael. An oath. Yeah, it was very cool. We came out as Mark. It was for the Olympics. You came out. We did it for the Olympics. <laughs> oh, that was such a shit. Imagine joke. if we qualified now. Imagine if they called and said we saw that. You're both in. Yeah, but we represent New Zealand <laughs> <laughs> because that's where we are. Like in New Zealand right now, are we? Sorry, sorry. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, New Zealand was shit enough. I shouldn't have said it. I'm sorry too. It's a country too, you know. It's a beautiful place. It's kind of like Tasmania. Lord, from- Lord of the Rings was shot there. Yeah, wow. Always trying to segue into some kind of movie. <laughs> movie. Actually, I've got a brown rant. Oh, for Ooh, fuck's sake. A brown no, rant. Like, and I don't know how to express myself about it, but it happened today when I was at the post office. Do you ever do you ever get in line in places, whether it's a shopping center or you know the bank or a roller coaster ride, wherever, and um, and you've got somebody either behind you or in front of you who's like in it, like they're they're shitty that print? they're in a line, all oh, right, and they're huffing and puffing like oh, oh. <sighs> and they're trying to make you part of their sh- like whinging in the line. But yeah, okay, I'm I'm down for this because they are. F- well, I, don't, I've done, I, I don't think that's ever happened They to just me. can't believe they're in a line yeah, and it's th- taking like five so minutes. I, I got there on the opening of the post office and they're like four people were already lined up in front of me. So there's a line. And this old fucking bag, this old bag of bones behind me. Is what, uh, fucking how old? Oh, probably like 65 to 75. Something Female like. or male? Female. And, um, and she was just having a fucking bag bitchy whinge about being in line behind you or in front behind me and she was like she got real close and you could i just felt that she was just trying to get my attention was she sort of hot and Were you no dressed she's like not that? hot and i was similar to this but there was <laughs> one guy serving which is what caused a bit of more of a line and then she, there was a girl doing other like getting other posts packages. stuff packages ready and she was getting the shits at this girl like oh fucking there's, there's two of them why you know, and she's getting cranky, and I get that. That was, um, you know, why aren't they both serving? And they eventually did. And you arced up too. Her fucking huff and puff, trying to get my attention to get in to have a chat with her, just fucking grinded my gears. Like Shut the fuck up and stay little, in the line. Yeah, spoiled little brat. And you find those people in banks. You find them in the in at the supermarkets. Yeah, dude. You know? Holy shit! Whinging. Same thing happened to me a couple of weeks ago. I was at the bank, and this dude could not believe it. So he basically was in front of me. The girl had just finished like getting served, but then the banker had to do a bit of like admin yeah, after. It took a minute yeah. playing the piano. He could not believe that it was like a minute had passed. So when she was ready and looked up to him, he went, <sighs> turned around, went out of the bank, and she's like, "Sir, I'm ready to serve you." And he just stormed off like a fucking four year old. And then I was like, "Sick, it's my go now." But like, I couldn't believe it. it's like. Man, they're just a human being. They're not going to be able to fuck robots. Yeah. yeah, bankers are robots. Yeah, true. just fuck the bankers. Uh, and but the post office people actually they can get pretty annoying. They'll be too. robots too. Actually, I'm on both their sides. <laughs> yeah, but if we every, need it, the more we protest at how shit they are, the more we'll, they'll if, get quicker. If everyone gets irritated and angry, it will pressure them to work faster and harder, and we'll get through those lines quicker. So, f- so fucking every, next time you're in a line. F- can really make it known that you, you annoyed me, like, I'm on both sides too. Yeah, they'll yeah, yeah. work faster, work faster. If everyone's up in arms about it, they'll get a fucking move on. Simulate the economy. So don't whinge, but also work faster. Yeah, no, still whinge. I reckon whinge okay, as much whinge. as you can. Everyone whinge. If yeah. everyone whinges, everyone wins. The only place yeah. I, I agree with whinging is fucking traffic. That's the biggest lineup. That yeah, I can't me. handle traffic. Well, traffic, you can't make a difference because everyone's stuck. No, I, I, I've definitely reckoned oh, that I, Marty, I just can't. You, I've, you, traffic, I don't, I don't know how you people should do, do my, that every do my day. Do for a week. Dude, yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Chaos. So it, it would mad. be enough to make me quit. If someone's like taking three seconds longer than they should, Marty will let them know. Dude, I'll be on the horn. You can see why people get out of the cars and start boofing, like, and punching people in the face. Man, people traffic get so I'm pretty aggravated. good with. I'm very chill. I'm you like, you're not in it enough. It's just I hate wa- wasting my life in traffic. Like, yeah. I, it's so dumb. And like, the like, someone fucking upgrade traffic lights. It's been the same shit. Since like what the sixties or seventies, someone upgrade yeah, like they've I got smartphones. Agree. You've got the fucking whole world in your hand, but what they don't have smart lights. Yeah, like what should... the f- do you have to sit at a red traffic yep, light I for agree. three minutes when there's no other cars coming? What because the, the light is red? Light red, you stop. And Shut up. S- How about look around? If there's no cars there, you should be able to go. Stop signs need to be stopped as well. Everything should be give way. Yeah, if you, can, sh- yeah. you should never come to a complete stop. Yeah, stop signs You should can always be able to be off. drift. I got a $300 fine back 10 years ago. For running a stop. At 1am, they were hiding, beh- hiding yeah, behind a bush. Sickening. 
Sick oh, egg. man. Yes. What was the... The was southern p- Asian countries have it made. They barely stop. Yeah. It's just red lights are more of a guide. Yeah. yeah. And it works. Yeah, they, they merge all through each other. Oh. Hardly any accidents. And, and if you pleasure. drive under the speed limit, then fuck you and stay at home. Yeah, Especially spe- 10 kilometers under the speed That's too much. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck off. Especially in, on a highway or it's in a tunnel. nothing worse than guys, someone who can't even go the speed limit. So scary. Oh my God. Oh, and know your fucking way around or get a GPS because those people who can't figure out where to go left or right, fuck them too. Smarten up and go to fucking manscaped.com yeah. and use our discount code fully actual 20 to shave that shit off so you can drive the speed limit. Not even speed, just just drive the speed limit. If you don't go to Manscaped, you drive under the speed limit and are a cunt. If you've got hair on you, it makes you less aerodynamic. And you're just a piece of shit. Do you not want to be a piece of shit anymore? Because I'd like it if our listeners weren't pieces of shit. So go to Manscaped and fix your shit. It's for women too. Whoa. Link in the description, okay? Twenty percent off, fully actual twenty. <laughs> Fuck me, God, fix your shit. Uh-huh. Anyway, let's move on. Sorry. Speaking of fixing shit, <laughs> it's time for the great. Oh, did you um, talk about your um? Click y- that your shit. Cl- click, click, click that shit. Your click web- that. Your website to to go to your website and. Subscribe. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll of course, also, of everyone, course. Well, we sort of plugged it with the boxing yeah, documentary. Yeah, 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 exactly. Link to our website in the description if you'd like to watch the videos we've just spoken about. And also the the guy who won the $50,000, the, the giveaway money, he still hasn't come forward. And to be honest, we, we Googled that name, like trying to find more information out, and it said that someone with that name had recently died. In Australia? Yes. Yeah, but th- what are the chances, dude? Uh, there's that's just a crazy. Yeah. Well, look, it would explain there's it no because, way. man, like, well, like, he's probably just shit with email. He hasn't checked. It's it. been two and a half weeks, so I, we're gonna have to redraw. I bet you, by the when we redraw and someone he'll else wins forward. it, he'll come forward. That's go, what oh, I'm worried about. That's, that's what I'm worried about. about. Maybe he is bad with email. I send coffee club promos to Michael all the time, and he never replies. Oh, yeah. Man, fucking coffee. I get him, and I can't believe it. I wish he gave us more than his email, eh? But anyway, it could be cool redraw. You might be in the running still, and. More people can sign up and try and win. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay, you may as well stay signed up in case we have to redraw. Holy anyway. shit, it seems like we've done it on purpose to keep people <laughs> signed up, dude. It literally would look like that. Or oh. we should just take that 50 grand and just we'll divvy it amongst ourselves now. And say we gave it away? <laughs> Film a fake video? Maybe we can give it to oh, podcast fuck. listeners. Oh, oh, man. Man, dude, that would be like that's good business though if we did do that. I think that's illegal. Yeah, I think that's like a form. Yeah, of only fraud. if people find out about it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. If we I would, reckon we could easily get away with it. All right, let's try it. All right, no one say anything. All right, if you're hearing this, no one say anything. Just don't tell anyone. But we're gonna see if we can pocket that fifty k. <laughs> oh no! Someone's gonna cut this and and. Attack you. No, yeah, we, well, if they no, investigate no, no. us, they'll see. There will be a winner and you will see it happen. Are going to be in the next three weeks if Aaron hasn't fucking come out? Fucking hell. And Aaron. if you don't hear about it, we pocketed it. we've pocketed it. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, let's move along to the great. Hit, hit it. Debate. Hit, hit, hit it, bro. The great debate between mates. This is the great debate. Yeah, that's good. That rhyme means. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> this is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head when they debate a very controversial topic each week. So it's important to remember that these are not their actual views and opinions. They're just trying to win this debate. So if you're easily triggered, skip right along past this segment, okay? Because this you will hear some offensive shit here, but it's not anyone's actual opinion. It's they're just trying to win the debate, okay? Okay. Does everyone understand this that? It's yeah, just yeah. about how good our debate skills are. Exactly right. And it just so happens to be also a controversial topic. Oh, oh, oh the controversial ones. <laughs> Here we fucking go. All right. Do you guys want a paper, scissors, rock? And the winner gets to choose which hand. Well, he knows which hands now. I haven't seen. So whoever. I don't even know what that means, though. Okay, good. <laughs> he doesn't understand that. <laughs> so... 
<laughs> I don't get it. That's aircon shit, dude. Is it? <laughs> Some aircon shit. Can you explain it to me? So P and C, what would they stand for? P and C. PC. Pa- it's Papua New Guinea. No, it's not. <laughs> Oh, that's pro funny. and con. Oh. So whatever the argument you're is. You're lying. There's no way you're that unreal. <laughs> All right. Is that Look, real? Well, we usually rock. say for and against. Scissors, scissors okay. paper, rock, and then whoever. And then I'll, you guys can choose which hand you want, and then I will reveal the topic. Go. What's a P and C meeting? Uh, Stand policies and conditions. Okay. Let's really? continue with this. I don't know. I just guess. Scissors, paper, rock. All right, do you want to be for the argument or against the argument? I'll be against it, I think, because I just don't know. <laughs> against it's always a safe choice. Okay. Okay. Today's uh, topic is, <clears throat> so oh, you're for man. this, Matt, you'll be going first. Uh, it's already shit, Matt. He's trying to contain his f- smile as he's saying that to me. Uh, yeah, this is good. <clears throat> All right, today's topic is women shouldn't have abortions. And you are agreeing with that. You're saying women should not oh, have abortions. Time, <laughs> okay, Matt. You have to argue that no, they shouldn't have abortions. Once you got it gunk up, yeah, you let it simmer and spit out at nine months. Oh, my God. The gunk up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? I don't okay. know about that. Three, two, one, begin. <laughs> Wait, before you begin... <laughs> Stop. Okay, we're stopping. We're restarting the time. Well, your time starts in three, two, one, go. What is it again? Women <laughs> shouldn't have abortions. Oh, okay. So I have to say that they shouldn't. Yeah, you're arguing. You're arguing for okay. that. You agree with that? All right. Um, women uh, should have abortions because, um, uh, in God's eyes, you're killing a a, a feet, a feet, a feet. What if it's not? Us, div- a what fetus. if it's not? Div- does that mean a sperm is a, a human? fetus? Like where well, do you draw the line? Um, I'd have to say once it uh, in, once it infuses into the egg, um, yeah, I, it's it's a child. What about if a woman was brutally? Raped I knew and you'd then come with pregnant. that question, but unfortunately, <laughs> we're still killing um, a, a life. A so being. you're saying if a rapes a woman and gets her pregnant, she Indeed. has to suck it up and have that baby, no they matter what. Should suck it up and have that baby. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> also, also the damage it does to the insides. You know, all the mechanics down there. You're throwing, you, you know, you're throwing a big, a big hook in there, and you, you're pulling all the mechanical stuff around. And if you rip a fetus out, you might damage the invertebrae, and it won't work. What if, what if a woman's life is in danger if she's pregnant? Like, what if she has a medical condition that means that she could die, and then that woman is then brutally, raped, if is brutally. Raped. And she's now pregnant. Wait, damn. Does she have an issue or is she getting brutally raped? Both. Okay. In the rare scenario that this happens. In- and she's saying, please, Matt, please let me abort this. Stop. That's what you'd say to her. In, yeah. In God's eyes, if her time is up. Time! He- okay. All right, Michael. Fuck, I think I've lost this one. <laughs> you still got a chance for a rebuttal. Yeah, I can't program. wait to see what, what fucking... Butterbrain says. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin defense. Weed cookie. Um, okay. As a person who is abortion pro con. Actually, sorry, I'll say against because you wouldn't know what that means, Matt. Thank um, you. Against the argument. I will look, one of my arguments straight away is have you guys ever heard of a you'd know him quite well, your one of your uncles did. He starts with H and he was in Germany. Hitler. Yeah. See this guy, imagine if he could have been aborted. It's very necessary. Sometimes we need to, it's the kids that we kill are the ones that will, won't will kill so many in the future. We should have done that to Hitler. Hitler should have been aborted. Well, shouldn't we outlaw all pregnancies then just in case that But it was it was illegal. Comes? It was illegal back then. And that's why. That's the reason why everything happened is because <laughs> she couldn't get an abortion, which means abortion should be possible so we can kill the future Hitlers. All right. There you go. You, you still want me to keep going? Yeah, okay, yeah. look, I got other you points. You can say done if you think that's good enough to you get win. A point. Look, sometimes kids are, they're shit. Um, okay, so imagine, oh, how can you put this? This Okay, your kid won't be able to move or he is like brain dead. 
should imagine that. So his existence so would be disabled. Her existence, no, no. Like I'm talking like proper. Like there's, there's no. They can't even hear or think or say or do. So they're, they're disabled. Just, all they're there is there. They're just they, they just don't move and their and brain time. Sorry. All right. So you're saying that um, we should have abortion so we can get rid of the vegetables. Anyone with any disability and potential Hitlers. <laughs> All right, Matt. I'm going to pass time out for your, for time for your rebuttal. Okay. Three, two, one, suck it. Okay, so just don't even interrupt me for a second. Okay, so your uh, points were we could have aborted Hitler. Kids are shit, so we should abort them. No, if they're there, just there, that's all they can do is just be there. But not even there, their brain's not Let fucking me finish. vegetables. And if they're disabled, basically. <laughs> so for starters, let's let's see the flip side of this. Not let's all see the disabled. Flip side of this. Not all disabled. Let's see the flip side of this. So if we can if we're aborting them in case he'll be Hitler, we're gonna abort them in case they be Gandhi? We're gonna abort them in case they're um, you know, Jeffrey Epstein? No, like, you'd, leave what, what? you'd leave them ones alone though. Yeah, or how would you know? How would you know, Michael, which ones to abort? The ones, the ones, the mom with, knows. The, the ones, mom okay, knows. The ones with the little mustaches. Get rid and of them. And what about all the good kids, Michael? Are we going to uh, abort all the good kids just in no, case they're just bad? Just, it was very clear. Just disabled kids. And how kids. do you know? <laughs> how do you know? There's tests. If they can't, if you look at them in a picture and they're all twisted and shit, there's a good chance that you need to get rid of that one. So I will go to the Spartan theory. <laughs> Time. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's hear your fucking Spartan theory. When they're when they're born, if they look like they're like this, we discard them. Okay. And if they look strong and manly, we keep them. All right. Time. All right, Michael. Last no need for abortions, just mass killings. So he's agreeing. No, I said no abortion. Saying, I say you mass kill the vegetables. He's saying allow the baby to come out and oh. then kill it. Please don't clip me saying mass clip vegetables. <laughs> and not even like I'm not talking. Okay. okay. All right, ready? I'm Three, two, one, one, go. Last minute. Well, my friend, let um, me tell you something here. What? Shrek didn't get aborted? Look at him. Look at fucking Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek was pretty good. That was a good call. Look, you may be winning now with Shrek. You can't abort Shrek. Okay. All I'm saying is sometimes it's very, very dangerous for a person to have a baby, whether it be physical, mental, or like psychological. And all of those mean that they should be able to kill the baby now and then so it doesn't fuck up things further down should the line. Should we not have kids anymore? No, have kids. Children of men. Fully have kids, but... Don't some, make them disabled, though. If they're disabled, get rid of them. And sometimes, say, like, the mum can't do it properly, so the kid's going to get so fucked up them, in the end. Put them both down. Put them both down <laughs> in gonna, that situation. He's not going to have parents his whole life, and it's going to f*** the kid up, therefore it could create a Hitler. And it's going to f*** the mum up, so just... Kill them both. <laughs> Sling them both off a mountain. I don't. I don't agree with that. One. Time. <laughs> All right. Look, that's a oh, tough no. one. Some some very good points from both sides there. I, I think we've got a point. Well, we always do ask the audience who won. Yeah, yeah. But who let do you let us know in the comments. I think, I think maybe Matt had. <laughs> How it. does Matt always win? <laughs> just because you. Dude, we didn't abort Shrek. Just the morally, you know, killing all disabled kids um, is, you know, and, and not all disabled, just the ones that are brain dead. And killing Hitler. It's I think hard we, to guess who's going to yeah, be. Yeah, who's going to be Hitler? Well, you should have gone down the, the path. The moms need to find out. Do they should just tune into their intuition and they then can just do know. tests for anyway. The what, what we should have done, you should have done, was saying um, how, know, how how like a met, sixteen year old could ruin her life by having a baby. Well, I sort Ma of yeah, said that at the end. Marty gave you a good hint about um, about uh, like if a woman is raped, like I think she should have absolutely the right to get rid of that thing. You don't want to birth <laughs> a half evil you know person into the world. Well, what if the rapist some... isn't generally a bad person? Maybe. Sorry, I'll I'll move on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh shit! Look, that was a controversial topic. Lucky we're not in Parliament. Man, yeah, we wouldn't be good at that one. Although <laughs> Actually, it would make, be better it would than make what's those, going on. What are those, you know how they have them on TV all the time, the Parliament debate talks? They're on at like midday. What do they call that? The, the green. Yeah. And <laughs> you know, they talk all the time. They yell at each other. Waste of time and fucking money. But, you know, we'd be shit at that. You've got, oh, I reckon we'd be Or would right. we make it more entertaining? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I'd bring a boombox in. <laughs> I'd bring some whiskey. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, we're going to have a fat big bong break and be right back with bamboozled and shit. Oh, no. And we're back, and look who's here, it's James. Hello, everybody. All right, hit a brown, it's bamboozled. Oh. You've been bamboozled, baby. Oh, wait. Oh. No, Oops. not me. No, not again. Please. Please. Oh, I'm so confused. I can't see. You've been bamboozled, bitch! Man, that's a good song, eh? Hey? Yeah, 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 check it. I say, you've been bamboozled, bitch! Not, not me, me, not me, me. not me. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> no, no, I had to do the angle. All right, this is Bamboozled, where James presents us with three things. One of them's fucked and one of it's gets bamboozled. Baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> Roll the tape, Connor. Play oh. that shit. This week's Bamboozled is a very, very, very simple one. It's ants in your pants, extreme level. Two of the boys are going to have a box like this and it's just got just a little bit of oats in it. Just some little oats in there that they'll pour down their pants. The other person is going to pour a cardboard box of cockroaches. Woodies. Ugh. They're gonna have them running around in their pants and they have to stay calm. It's gonna be hilarious. Now I have to try and get these into a box. Shit. I'm, as you can see, I'm keeping the lids on quite heavily. Oh no. This Why? is called Ants in Your Pants Extreme. Oh. oh. But it's not ants. It's oh, thank God. Large gosh. living cockroach. Oh! <laughs> oh my what God. Do mean, what do you I mean? Got... How big? Dude. Oh, oh dude. They're going to try and crawl into cracks yeah, and shit. Yeah, brother. This is game changing. Oh. We've oh. got lots dude, of cracks. Dude, so, so scary. Oh, I'm so scared. I think Matt now. just saw the bottom of the No, I promise I didn't. I promise I didn't. How did you get it in? I'm going to go mix them up. I promise I didn't. Oh. I swear on our friendship. I swear on no, our no, friendship. No, no, go mix him up. Go I, mix him up. He's, he's, I swear on our friendship. Look how, look how much he wants you to stay. Okay, now, <gasps> two of these, oh, two man. of these just have some oats. Sorry, Matt, they're your oats. I owe you two packets of oats. Fair enough. <laughs> that's but I was trying to think of something that was like the same sort of weight and if you shake it, oh, which you yeah. shouldn't, so that's a rule breaking. Oh, yeah, no shaking yeah. allowed. Now, who lost? Michael lost again. He's lost two bamboos. <laughs> oh, I'm in a so row. nervous right now, bro. Holy so shit. So you get to choose first, Michael. Three, two, or one. And the best part again is I don't remember which one I put it in. <laughs> oh, no. I'm man. kind of excited Dude, for this shut one. Up, man. <laughs> three. You want three? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you. But you can only look at the top here. Okay, so like that? Yeah, that's it. Oh. Man, this is going to be nice and low. Don't look at the bottom of the box. <laughs> Number two, so two, 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 the oh. oat dust has Maybe gathered. just, what about on the shirt? Oh. What about in the in our tops for all of us? Because then he can do it. I don't know about this. I feel like pants is necessary. Oh, they're going to crawl into our holes. They may. <laughs> but they're, you know, they're not unclean. What about they go them. up in the hole? Oh! No. Oh. Oh. Six little legs scratching up your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Laying their little eggs All right, Doing their little, little cockroach It's going to be a bit oh, tricky to do I think you're literally going to have to go like this Like hold your pants out Undies as well Oh! And then then you're just going to have to Close your eyes And just like maybe just put the whole box in And sort of go like that with your fingers So the box splits and Should opens. we do it one by one this? Could be funny. Oh yeah No, well, hey, Then we'll know who's been bamboozled No because we look away and then Michael does it And we look and then I do it, you guys look away, and then you do it, and then we guess. Okay. I mean. Oh, we don't have to. I, don't know, I, don't I feel it's all going to be the same effect. I'm sorry. Do I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yucky, <laughs> man. And to your pants. God, this good, is eh? so stressful, dude. <laughs> Very good. Oh, this is so stressful, man. So, um. I'll do Just it right shop. now. Ready? Whoa, 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 okay, whoa, whoa. So Wait, maybe we need to Why don't we put it down. in, and then we take open it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll like put it in first. Yeah. 
then open oh, it up. Oh, man, I don't know there, about flip this. It. you got to flip it once yeah, you open it. Yeah, you have it. to flip it. Or, right, we mine's in. Up? Mine's locked in. No, no, no. You just get underneath your skirt. I feel like I have to stand I feel like I need to more. film because I feel like these three angles may not catch yeah, the glory not capture that is the glory. this. Oh, Shazer. I'm just going to focus on Matt. <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm I'm just kidding. It could not be you. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, I'm Are you guys ready to be bamboozled? I need to Are they pull in? My skirt down, yeah, you bloody pull the skirt down, brother. <laughs> Here we go. Once it's locked in and ready, <laughs> I'm scared, dude. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'd be a bit scared. What if they go off my toe? Yeah, they well, might. That, Matt. that could happen with yours. They bite. Oh, they yuck. bite. And they bite. We're gonna have cockroach shit all over it. Do they shit? Do, do oh, cockroaches? Yeah. Shit? It just like I don't flies. Know. And shit. They shit as they walk and no, they don't live, fucking say that. Leave germs. Want <laughs> they leave oh. germs. Bamboozled baby. Get it in there. Yeah, I they... just want this done. Oh, <laughs> man's I nervous. I can't have to stand. I think I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is it in there? Oh, okay. It's... Okay. Oh. Now on the count of three, you boys are gonna open your box and turn it upside down. You must turn it upside down, okay. or it's cheating. I think you should. Turn if you it... don't turn it upside down, you have to eat the should contents turn it of the box. Upside down Fuck, and then dude. Open, what? I feel like they're gonna. Yeah. Come what? The yeah, I'm you can turn scared. it upside down now if you want, and then open it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> you might need both your hands. So when, anyway, when we do give this? it a go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, bamboozled baby. Well done, Marty. Jesus, harder. <laughs> You're lying. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> who is that, do you think? Who do you think it's it is? Point who it is. It's you. On the bottom, I was like, I, I, I rubbed my fingers off. I'm like, we can't. Right. Now we have to blur. Marty is 100 percent naked off camera. 100. Yeah, percent I know he's not. He's got socks get, on. We'll blur it. Get a shot of him. <laughs> so if you're listening Dude. to this, cockroaches were all over Marty's, and now he is completely naked. I actually thought that was mine. <laughs> Dude. Oh. 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 Dude. They're climbing up my chair. I have to say that is. You you said it wasn't that bad. That was fucking horrifying. Yeah, I actually didn't think you guys would worry that much about that one. Yeah, there's oh, just dude, something about cockroaches. So on your dick. I thought it, my box was had them in it. You must have done. You done it really well. How you like? Yeah, like concealed I tried. it. I tried to find ants because we could actually do ants in your pants. But dude, they could only find stinging ones. Yeah, like bad stinging ones. Ones mm. that would probably have to go to hospital. It'd be like proper lumps. Oh wow, that was hectic. Shit. That was some hectic. Shit. Dude, that was so disgusting. Man. Oh, dude. And I apologize because now this room is going to be like the van. It's oh, gonna, like, yeah, it's going to have a to colony. Them, yeah. I don't you mind them around, them. just not on my dick. Yeah. Connor's going to get a good shot on my little flopping around after <laughs> yeah. on that camera there. Yeah. I think yeah, um, I think I might just bug bomb the room. Don't. No, oh, no, no. Give us cancer. I'd rather, yeah, yeah bug bomb cancer. cancer. Yeah. I, love, I love the thought of you guys freaking out about cancer. You know, <laughs> oh, look. Look at that! There was like four crawling all over his stomach. Ma! Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, that was fucking bravo. Hectic as shit. Oh, shit. that's trauma. Right <laughs> on my dick. Ooh, <laughs> bug sex. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll be right back with Julian. Jail. Hey Julian, what's going on? Hey bro? boys, I like look how who it look, is. Your shirt matches your shoes. It's he's always pretty. Yeah, he's always being matching. A little, a little bit of brown. He and loves stuff matching. Like that. Man, I, I don't like fucking it. put any effort into my appearance <laughs> at all you're, anymore. You're wearing bro. matching you're tops matching. and yeah, James right picked now. this out for yeah, me though. James dressed him. Michael's matching. Like too. I don't even wear the same <laughs> socks, but. Good shit. It's just rag on mm. skin that covers you. Yeah, normally they're different colours. So Julian's here and his um this when this comes out will be the what date will that be? 
It'll be the early July. One to eighth of July. Eighth of oh, eighth of July. Well, you've missed my Perth and Adelaide show. No wait. Oh no, we got a sh- we got an episode coming out today. We got la- last week's coming out on the twenty fourth. I know this will be out on the first of oh, July. First of July. Well, in four days I'll be doing the first show of my stand up tour in Perth. So if you're from Perth and you haven't got a ticket yet, you should go get one because it's basically tomorrow when you'll be seeing it. Pretty much. What else do you do down there? Fishing? Yeah, just fishing. (laughs) I'm just going to go fish. uh, Perth is 5th of July and then Adelaide is the next day on the 6th. And then when's Brisbane? Brisbane's the 14th. So it's like over the two weeks I'm doing Perth, Adelaide and then Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. Okay, there you go. So go to Julian's Instagram at it's Julian Woods to see if you are keen to get tickets. Um, have a look now because they're probably or just all go, fucking. Just go to julianwoods.au forward slash shows. No www dot. Just julianwoods.au. Yeah, forward whichever slash shows. one you want to do. Melbourne man. and Sydney's pretty much sold out. Heck yeah. Uh, maybe. yeah. How uh, many? How many kids? Uh, how many kids? I don't. It's eighteen plus. Uh, Brisbane is all ages though. So will there be drinks provided uh, to you guys if you come? Yeah. Ooh, like, yeah. I forgot to say that because I think I was was I talking to you how I was like, oh, if you want to come to the show, you don't have to sit in the seat. Might be, but guess what? I have news. Guess you, where I'll be? <laughs> not there. Bali. Bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Gonna honeymoon. You. Oh, honeymoon. I was going to say you going days. with the lads. Yeah. Nah. We're going on a girls' trip, not boys' trip. Go- <laughs> okay, but yeah. Wait, your honeymoons in ba- the last time you were in Bali, you sh- all over a wall. Yeah, and yeah. I picked it up because I missed you by a day because you guys were That's over there, right? And I just got off parole, and I was like, lads, lads, Bali, 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 and I got over, and the only uh, remnants of you there was uh, fecal matter splattered <laughs> all over a uh, white concrete wall. <laughs> Man, that was- call me so up, so he's like, oh, Michael's gone and sh- up the wall. <laughs> Like really annoyed at it. <laughs> Speaking yeah, of that's... missing you by a day, you were at bloody Jacko's thirtieth, and then oh. I rocked up, and you had gone a fucking hospital. Yeah, I was in hospital because then... the going round yeah, yeah. had a bit of <laughs> in it, <laughs> a little bit of one. Yeah, no, I think I you would have been there when I went and picked up my car. I just dawdled up the driveway like a zombie, <laughs> like just straight out of Walking Dead. But nah, good um, show. Yeah, it was. Is that? I thought it was a movie. I've never seen. Sorry. it. you are a. F- Loser, <laughs> do you want an outfit? No, it's okay. So, um, no, nah, Jacko's 30th. It was like, no, it was what, wild. Yeah, it was wild. So, you can but say you've like, done, we, one. yeah, well, before, yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, no, but we watched you guys fucking win your boxing match, everything's sick. We were all like adrenaline pump and just doof, doof, <laughs> ah, lads. What did you think? Make, make an underage girl sign, sign NDAs and shit, just going, yeah, it's just kicking the night off and that. <laughs> oh, as and you then, do. Um, yeah, celebrity. And then um, these okay? fellas rocked up who were just like these, you know, just big sort of... Muscly people. Yeah. Like bikey people? I didn't want to say it. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they rocked up and they just had this shit. Imagine doing heroin. And then, and then uh, they tried to kick him out because they're like, what, the, what are you doing here? And then they what, didn't leave. They, they didn't even know them. No. And then so I... Then and randoms then, just rocked yeah, up. No, oh, that so, scary. Yeah, yeah. So then I, I was like... I was talking to them just like being like, yeah, crime, crime, crime. And they're like, you're cool. So then I tried to like distract them to get them out. Bad. And then wow. like and they I think they you. sort of realised that I was doing like the double play. And they're just like, oh, here you go. And then I woke up in hospital. And then... <laughs> Yeah, Good how close shit. were you from ODing, you reckon? Oh, dude, I, I called my girlfriend. I was like, I'm dying. Whoa. Like I was crying, man. I was like, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Is your heart hurting? Dude, yeah. Yeah, it was so scary. What then, did your girlfriend say? Was she like, yeah, yeah, she, whatever. Uh, no, no, she was just like, again? And, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Every but, uh, weekend? <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> you caught me last I've done it again, I've done it again, I've done too much. <laughs> no, but um, she was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then um, she was like going to drive up. But then she was like, "Oh, well, if you're gonna die, it's, what's the point? It's not gonna. It's gonna happen in the next ten minutes, not an hour and a half for me to drive." So then I called my friend who I knew lived close, and then she like ended up t- getting me from the Gimpy Hospital and taking me back to Jackson's. But yeah, dude, in the toxology thing, it was like Whoa. they were like, "You're very lucky." Was there fentanyl in there too? No, it was like very strong opiates, and wow. I know that I didn't take any opiates that night. But I, the only thing that I didn't that I took that was out of the Ordinary was the heroin. Cat. Was the cat? <laughs> no, but like, I mean, we'll get you. Sometimes it's but it a wasn't. Bad it, batch. it wasn't. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't because so it, it yeah. had not, none of that. Like that stuff was either all artificial or wow heroin. <laughs> well, there you go. Look, 
At Jackson's 30th, you'll do heroin. Dude, can we even keep this in, man? <laughs> yeah, 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 just yeah. incriminated so many of our friends. Oh, no, 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 doesn't no. have any ongoing legal issues, but though. No, after that, yeah, I've just completed uh, 75 days hard. So, like... What's that oh, mean? What's that mean? Sober? Yeah, yeah, completely oh. nothing. Well, what about Siggy's? Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I am on coke right now. I've had a few <laughs> stimulants, and I'm fairly sure I drove here well over the limit. And you're on at, Viagra. I, I was just at the... Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that's because Matt touched me. But oh. um, <laughs> nah, I've just... Nah, I've had to go sober after that. Pretty yeah, much. Well. Like I've, had, I've had, had a few drinks at, like, weddings and stuff. but uh, Just once or twice. Yeah. Just once or twice. <laughs> just a few fucking things. Like, no, nah, because, like... Um, I've, got to, I've got to remember 70 minutes of stand-up material, man. So it's like... You need brain, brain cells. You I need, need brain, brain cells. Yeah. Yeah. Just write it all on mm. a big piece of paper. <laughs> <and> just stand <laughs> up and read just, the whole thing. The old constitution. Just, yeah. But, so, uh, yeah, so you reckon the sets, like what's the longest sets you've been doing? Like, Is it hard to do that? The longest set that I've done before the tour? Yeah, yeah. Only like 15 minutes. Okay. But like um, they're bits that I know really well. Yeah, okay. But the thing is like some of these bits are too dark for me to test at the comedy clubs. So like I've done, I think I spoke about it last time. I've done like some things and then the owners are like, yeah, we just had three women walk out and complain to the manager upstairs. We're getting threatened of like- our, But that's only because you were getting- actually assaulting them, yeah, not yeah, because that, of that what you were after. saying. I was just getting a bit- <laughs> But um, but now they're like, oh, you can't say this, this, this. And I was like, well, that's a fucking all my shit. So then like, I've got this, uh, this long bit, which is probably one of my strongest bits in my uh, show where at the start, I pretty much say, I think uh, kidnappers and need to really start telling kids again. And when you hear that, it's like, oh, that's fucked. But then after 10 minutes of talking, by the end of that bit, people give me like a standing ovation because it like mm. it's not, a long last. It, it's a long last, but it's a misdirection. Mm. But then mm. I can't test that out in comedy clubs because like as soon everyone as you say that, they kick away. Yeah, because like sixty year old women who vote for the Greens who are sipping on a red wine. What the fuck is that? So then I have to just be like, uh, what, what's what the co- guy with aeroplane food? Someone's poisoned the water hole. Said the Malaysian <laughs> shark. Ah. What comedy like, clubs are you playing at where there's a six year old woman who votes for the Greens? Six year old. <laughs> Sorry. I said 60. Sorry. Use your fucking headphones. Sorry. We should mm. go pour chlorine into like the ocean. fresh Pools. water. <laughs> fresh water, bodies of water. <laughs> Maybe we thought about this last week. We should just get bags of chlorine and just film ourselves just slicing them open and pouring you know, kilos and kilos of chlorine into like fresh water ponds. What about like with the ocean or is that good for the yeah, ocean? Yeah, yeah, we could do what? the ocean. Hey, we need a lot of chlorine to have an effect though. Yeah, okay. anyway, we'll talk about it later. I'll be in two weeks, in two weeks, that'll come out. Someone's done it. <laughs> no, I reckon that one can. St- no one will do that one. Probably. No, I've been, I don't know. Like other than the comedy, I've just been. Ma- it's like I can't stop winning. Like Ooh, it's just oh, okay. like I've just been making really smart business decisions. Well, I don't know if they call it a pyramid scheme or just like a really smart thing. But it's what I scheme. what I have been doing is I've been going to like small businesses, like. You know, shopping centers where you're like, how does this thing actually run? You know, just those little, like, tag them where they're not that busy. And I've been going to small businesses and I've been shoplifting. But when I shoplift, because these businesses, the rent's going up, like, cost of living. And then you, like, join the local community groups around there. And then you'll see, like, a closing down sale. And it's, like, 50% off everything because you've just shoplifted them out of business. And then you go buy the shit for 50% off and then resell it. Oh, okay. That's what I've been doing. Wow! So That's like, smart. it's been great since I've left here. Just, um, <laughs> just been having to get really like, you know. So no social media, just shoplifting. Oh uh, yeah, no, I haven't even touched social media. And- right. yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> shoplifting and, and coming jokes. on here. That's co- what jokes I would do. And if coming we, on here every three months. If we if we weren't making videos, I reckon I reckon we'd give. I want to go. It'd be nice to do it all together Dude, you one need day. To, like, don't inject it. You should definitely do it for a website video, though. Well, that's look, I literally if you snorted, it wouldn't be that bad. Oh, yeah, like, that's I, what said I, mean. this, I said this, I think, to James because I was saying we should fucking, like, I should come in and do, like, some weird fucking website video. Like, fucking, is Julian real? But I was going to say, I, if you two want to be the scientist, whether we film it over a week, like, what, like an hour each day, I will test out every single drug. And, and see how it works. Or like if we get two of us and be like, you know. A placebo one and a then placebo, a real one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I feel you. Or synthetic versus the real deal. Would you do it again? Yeah. But then I'd have to compare it with like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. A bit worried though. 
No, no. <laughs> just, yeah. Just, just a little bit. I'd only smoke it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. No, but that'd be a crazy website oh. video, though. Like, yeah, dude. I, I, would like, I would like to see it. Someone who's never done it doing it for the first time, I would watch that. Well, what about drug addict versus civilian? So yeah. it's like you get me and then we'll just like fucking, we'll get Connor from Cracker Milk and we'll just be like, hey, brother, here's a bit of meth. Give it to me. Connor's I'm definitely, definitely away. Connor's, <laughs> Connor's on Connor's, right Connor's, yeah. Connor's right definitely right on <laughs> Everyone say hello to Connor. Hi, Connor. Oh, yeah, he edits this podcast. I forgot yeah. that. I've been away for so long. Oh, Connor. <laughs> and stuff like that. What have that. you been doing? Just will Willeming? Just, yeah, film with Willem here and there, but no, nah, just majority of the stand-up stuff. Just, Are you, just, is it exciting? Like, do you, it's yeah, no, it's be... super exciting, man. And then like seeing the ticket sales just go up and like I opened for Lewis Spears two weeks ago, so I did uh, He's the same dude that you took me to, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I was telling him that story and he was f***ing laughing his ass off. But um, <laughs> I opened for him in uh, Gold Coast, Brisbane and Sunny Coast and like. What was that like? Yeah, it was good, like, because they're a bit of a darker crowd, but at the same time, half the crowd was wearing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirts. So That's I was a like, good show. Mm, you know, you are. Dude, just the, <laughs> I tried, tried, the no, 80s films were good. Do, do you know how long, after working film. here for the second one. three or four years, how long it's taken me comedically, personality wise, to, to get, get over you? To get out of that character of just being like that, uh, yeah, like that angry thing that we had going on here. And then I hear you talk and everything gets undone. <laughs> oh, this is about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah. That was a little know where you're going about that. how I'm just trying to be like my own person again. I'm just saying, just being like, Teenage, Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, like Secret of the Ooze. How do we cut a you mic out? Just... <laughs> it's a shame just it's only recorded on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so yeah, what's no, your favorite movie? Dude, please stop. <laughs> oh. um, no, but I was opening for him and it was good because he's got a darker audience. Like there's not Race like, shouldn't come into it, no, Julian. No, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> that even took me a fucking half second to clock. No, but like it was good and like uh, see, getting the approval from like an uh, audience that's not like there for like open mic comedy was mm. like really cool. Did you get but, heckled by being the star? Have you been heckled? No, no, yeah. no never. Oh, fuck. I want no, to never. I got, I got, I've been heckled once. It was like I told this joke and like pretty much – it was like by the single mother and it's like, it, well, you're probably thinking like, hey, I don't know if she was a single mother. Why not? Just I'll mm. tell you. So I did this joke about pretty, it's pretty much essentially, I think you guys have heard it that night uh, about me in the mouth of a child mm. at the beach. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. No? So anyway, shush, Matt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so I did the pun like, ah, in the mouth and then this woman goes, fuck you. And it was sounding like you're <laughs> Margaret character, the drunk one. What's the drunk? Rhonda. Rhonda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, fuck, fuck you. I was like, oh. She was like, if she ever fucking said that about my kids, I'd kill you. And I was like, oh. oh. So I was like, sorry, miss. I was like, how many kids do you have? She was like, three. And I said, by any chance, they all have different last names to you because it sort of seems like it. And she started crying. That's how I knew she was a single mother. Oh. <laughs> like, but just everybody. Did not anyone all laugh at it? Yeah, yeah, every, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. but her. Everyone yeah. stood and pointed at her. She, loser, loser, <laughs> loser, yeah. single, single. And then she was sucking <laughs> shit in the car park, Dude, man. She was bro, Can we not? Can we rip to pieces? Can we talk about the <laughs> fucking timing of our last podcast? Oh my God. How we made for about 30 minutes oh. just sat, we, we shoot, And we literally said we should go to a stopping, shopping centre yeah. and just people for fun. Yeah. And then, it goes so and then, viral. And then we released it. And literally, the day before, there was a mass stabbing in Bondi yeah, Junction. man, that was what rough. I chances. couldn't believe that. And then the comments were like, how insensitive, boys, not knowing we filmed it like three weeks before. <laughs> like, oh. we this was like, we no forgot. way. It was just such an off-the-cuff joke. It was yeah, just, no, but it was who was forgot. the thing? Yeah, but we, we so did it random. three weeks earlier. Who was like, oh, yeah, that's right. We just made like 30 minutes worth of stuff. Having jokes. This we, goes to show, though, if we made that joke now, it'd be fine. Like, if there were no things, no one would have batted an eye. Yeah, no, but even now, people it's forgot about it. Timing. I did stand up jokes literally the next night after it happened because it was perfect. Because I was like, talking about yeah, it. Yeah, because I was like, doing I it. Up, he was doing yeah, it. He just went straight up to the closest chick. <laughs> and anyone that heckled him. Anyone that heckles him. And then I saw a transgender. I was like, I know, I'll skip you. And then just, you know, <laughs> that would have been the best way to settle the trans debate was like, because he was only. Having women like if you sent a transgender woman in there just to walk down the middle of like you know the mall if he her then it'd be like okay you are a woman you know settled but oh, the next day okay. the next day i got up on stage and i was like it's been a rough week hasn't it and everybody's like thinking about the bond night shit and i was like oj simpson died because remember he died like the day before 
What? I oh. thought he died years ago. No, bro. No, Man, no, no they don't really OJ, OJ Simpson died like a day or two before the Bondi shit. He was in Bondi. He was yeah, stabbed. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> he was a woman. but my thing was, I was like, OJ Simpson died. And then they're like, oh, and I was like, then he got reincarnated just to be shot dead in Bondi. And that's like a stabbing joke because OJ loved a good little stab and everybody loved it. Uh, but then like. Did he murder us by stab? Well. He was into it. Allegedly, eh? he was innocent. Sorry, he had allegedly. a whole sword. <laughs> but he he's dressed like a samurai. <laughs> OJ Simpson can rest easy now, knowing his wife's killer is off the street. But um, <laughs> but yeah, fucking uh, but like I wanted to do a video. I can't remember whether I told you guys, but the day after the Bondi Junction shit, where I wanted to be like in a suit next to a for sale sign, and I was going to go, my heart goes out uh, to all the victims. Oh. In Bondi. <laughs> of the overpriced property market. Guys, six new properties have just hit the market because six people died. Yeah. And, and you'll be holding a knife the whole time. <laughs> and we are slashing the prices. And then like um and then all these people were like, do not do that. But I reckon yeah. it would have gone nuts. Because like, like everybody hates real estate, real estate agents. Yeah, like, they're sure. the biggest losers. You should have done it. They are the people who would make fun of a massacre just to get, get a few house sales. But um <laughs> but dude, I could not believe the timing of that. And it was like so the, just weird. how, like, did I send it to you, the screen recording, and yeah. you were like, yeah, we should go into shopping centres and just stab people from a video. Literally fucking pig today. Man, yeah. We're Nostradamus. Fucking yeah, holy I've shit. I've always thought that. Who is that? He's oh. a predictor. He's a she. chef. He's a celebrity chef. Oh. Do you contribute anything other than shit one-liners? He likes <laughs> it. Look, he looks good. No, I was a Press general Press record, question. interrupt. That's a general question. It's a predictor from the <laughs> back in the past that has predicted heaps of things. Oh. Yeah, it was like 9-11, mm. didn't he? Was it 9-11 and like it, the was GFC? It a woman? It's a woman. Nostra... I swear it's a woman. I don't Maybe. know. I don't know. Could be. Let's not assume. Yeah. Let's not assume. It's true. Look, let's move on. Let's let's get into a let's get into a fun loving little segment, and we're going to include Julian this week. And Ooh. this is a bit of a deep segment. Um, it's <laughs> we're really going to help us get to know the boys. I thought we were doing. N- so I thought that was a box of. N- <laughs> I thought we were doing balloons. Oh man, love this I would segment. love to be Dude, doing. See, n- see, I'd love to watch you doing. <laughs> like I'd love that if we did that if for a while. If you, you do d- t- I'll do. N- what? Fuck. That, that's not the same. <laughs> Hey, do you want to okay. break through you, to the other world? Or do yeah. you want to have nitrous in your brain for 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah, you, okay. What about, okay, if you do heroin, then I'll do... Dude, I'll, I'll call Guru right now and get us a box of hundreds. <laughs> oh, Our lips will be blue by the end of the episode. <laughs> Is that oh. a real thing? That's a real thing, bro. They go in the valley and they're like handing out flyers for 10% discounts. For, it's like a delivery service. Wow. I've got videos of me going, you losers, do some real drugs. Like fucking, like <laughs> real cringe. <laughs> what right. was the last did Man, I reckon f-ing with Jaden. Jaden, yeah, like <laughs> how long ago? Probably like three, five years <laughs> Should ago. We do them to Savo. <laughs> you can drive on them. They've just done a, it. They've just done a it box a hundred. No, nah, no, nah, I'll of- get a ten, ten pack. I got a guy. <laughs> well, what are these? Be. These are things. N- yeah. All, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Here we go. First question. Oh, hang on. Is oh, a, oh, is there a little play there for it? Okay. We make oh, a bigger bang. Yeah, 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 we do. Yeah, what, what is this? Push a little all button. All, push a little bit. You'll oh. see. You'll see. Let me it's listen. beautiful. <laughs> and this is a segment <laughs> where I ask really kind of deep questions to both Julian and Matt today. And um, let's put all jokes aside for a second and um, let's get to know each other a bit. Hey, what do you say, boys? So we're just answering truthfully? So we're just answer. Oh, yeah, yeah, truthfully. Okay. 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 All right. So, Matt, we'll start with you. And the same question will go to you, Julian. <clears throat> How does a person become courageous? Is this me? Yes. Um, define courageous. <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> Is that real? So someone becomes courageous by learning what courageous means. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost sight of Well, I can start. Senses. I can start. Well, yeah, please. Uh, in Latin, virilitarage is the oh, Latin translation for off. acting courageously. And it was actually my college motto at the uh, private boys school that I went to. Which one was and that? And it's just being content and setting your sight on noble goals and to have a brave heart, a pure vision, being docile yet courageous. Uh, and also saying yes to mean that could be at parties. That's that is pretty brave. Very brave, brave. No. Especially if you don't know the deal. That, <laughs> that's brave. Especially if they're big, they got tattoos. <laughs> yeah. And you're already on a uh, a little smorgasbord of drugs prior to that. 
yeah. saying yes and just going, fuck it. Marty and Michael won their boxing fight tonight. That is fuck correct. Yeah. Let's OD heroin. on heroin. Matthew? No, he's already answered. We move on now. Yeah, he, he, okay. his was a sigh. His, his, was a sigh. his answer was... To become courageous, you must understand the meaning of the word courageous. Yeah. Oh, okay. dude, oh, wow, that's even... double meaning. Yeah. That was, yeah. I think that wearing a skirt and and a wig is is courageous. And having a beard and then also working at a concrete firm. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Don't tell people. You do every week. <laughs> that's your whole, 80% of your personality is working at a concrete 80% company. 80% of firm. your personality Whoa. is concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> solidified. You do cement. look like. Hey, hey, do you it, know that place in Spring Hill, the uh, the, the Sportsman me. Hotel? That's like that gay bar on the corner. And it always has like the yeah, yeah. drag things. You look like the people who go there on a Friday, who are like plumbers by day, but then like oh. you know, like Isabella by night. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Courageous. Yeah. All right. Next question. <clears throat> Here we go, boys. What are these cards called? Why are the it's questions called, so uh, like? It's called Talking Point. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a family game. Okay. It's a family game. <laughs> if you made up your own national holiday, what would it be called and how would we celebrate? Brown Day. <laughs> would we sh everywhere? And we'd sh on the floor everywhere. Oh, dude, no matter where great... you are, it is Brown Day and you sh on the floor. Come on. You can't see you can't see the things going wrong with that. There'd be sh no. everywhere. No, if it's a national day, everyone will I've accept it. You know, just like can it be national or international? National holiday. Okay, national, just for us. Uh, it'd be called How Funny Was That Day? And I'd have it on September 11th. None of your comedy <laughs> would be on there. <laughs> oh, I'm itchy. Um, what would you do for a national I just holiday? Tackled you. I just tackled you. Man, attack me. I would make everyone play pickleball and golf. It's pickleball in the morning and then enjoy your... Nah, it's golf in the morning, then pickleball in the afternoon. I'd just do on. Everyone has to do on. Yeah, one, two. One day. If you could ask anyone for help, who would it be and why? Well, it depends what it is I'm asking for help. I feel help. like I've already asked you that before. I'd who ask James to get me the fuck out of here no, so I'm away you, from this. You asked um, who do you go to for like advice or something like that. <laughs> I think it was along those lines. I'd probably say, dude, you talk and I've already forgotten what the question was, man. <laughs> oh, what? that was fucking that, that point, was fair question. point, bro. I got inside. I know, that was really Okay, weird. that was a pretty shit question. Let's move on. Yeah, dude, I said it's such a great day. I said, how funny would that be? How funny was that day on September 11th? And then oh, you yeah. spoke and just didn't let the punchline ride so, out. Anyway, which punishment do you dislike the most, Matt Brown? Which punishment? Which punishment? Uh, you don't like arguing in public? No, it's not really a punishment. I would punish you like that. Knowing I, you didn't like it, if I was your partner, I'd stand up and scream at you. <laughs> um, punishments, punishments. Oh, God, you take it. Mine would probably be the firing squad. Uh, just that's not a punishment. Yeah, that's, that's a, a capital. That's a capital punishment. Uh, but yeah, the firing squad, uh, just because it's too quick and easy. Like if you get a good headshot, yeah, maybe you're out for like five seconds. What it's your arms? Bit? Yeah, it's similar to like lethal injection. It's like bring back the cool shit that they had in the Middle East like a hundred years ago, like just being someone or that whipping. No, but is just like imagine death by away. slingshotting marbles yeah, yeah no what, but just like shit that you what guys about do guessing? over and over what about yeah. guessing? Calm yeah. down, no, that was a good what one about guessing? What, what do you mean calm down he's getting excited yeah he gets excited when i say gas um yeah i don't know or uh sitting in the naughty corner that is up there with the firing yeah, squad yeah that's pretty shit that's pretty but yeah because it's boring it's it's boring. boring or I'm no actually no video games for the weekend that fuck Who's given you that punishment before? I was going to say, sure yours would be no shit movies, you fucking oh, idiot. Oh, man. No TV. Yeah, no that would suck for you. All right, that was no another TV. shit question. All right, here we go. This is a great one. Did, did you shuffle these? They all seem to be shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I always just <laughs> put them back Dude, in. Dude, I hate it. Everyone likes this. I think this is All right, here we go. Here we go. If you were to make up three new silly traditions for our family... What would they be? I'm sorry, before you answer, it, I've just looked at the side of the box and it says for ages five plus... <laughs> Surely <laughs> that company makes one that's maybe a bit more yeah, mature. No, more well, of an this, adult this talking was, point. This is a family. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was Marty's and I said, can we use it for the podcast? But <laughs> you do this at home with your family. No, no, we just went on a road trip. We were picking games. I was like, whatever, I just grabbed this. And okay. Then... All right. So Three, three traditions. Th yeah, for us, for our family. Um, uh, the boys will hunt on Brown Day. Oh, and, hunt uh, for what? So, so they're 
hunting on and the, the floor. <laughs> hunting now. What else? Uh, the girls will cook the meat for the men. And the veggies too. And the veggies. Are you talking about disabled people again? Oh. <laughs> oh. Shit. Burying yourself deeper in a hole. And um Yeah. And arm. And arm. <laughs> like an arm, an actual arm. That's tra- a tradition. We have to arm. 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 You have to say arm. Oh, Julian. Julian? Uh, three yeah, it's tradition. not fucking easy, is it? Yeah. Uh, saying grace after meals instead of before it, just okay. to switch things up a bit. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. It could be really full and kind of. Yeah, yeah. It. Okay. Um, sharing is one. All together. Oh, yeah. Save water. Well, you're not sharing already? No. Okay. Not in my house. The, the water bill's fucking huge. But sharing together. So you got that skin to skin touch. It's sort of like when a Bathing. newborn baby, you know, feels its dad's skin for the first time, but it's all just in mist and hot water and a shower just clamped together. Sort of like when you get gummy bears at the bottom of the packet and they're all like sort of stuck, you know, the last few ones. And you're like, get out. They're like all getting sidetracked. And then third would be uh, watching Spy Kids 2 on Blu ray. Before every fucking meal, fucking love Spy every Kids. Meal. That's every not bad. Yeah. Directed by Robert Rodriguez. Very good film. Okay, man, relax. Sorry. <laughs> Look what you've done. Good to see you, boys. Sorry about that, dude. <laughs> We're sorry, dude. He, he has to do movies all the time. <laughs> <sighs> all right, look. That, you are. Let, let, that, that reminded me of a time when I was a little boy. <laughs> I stayed at a uh, friend's house. You watched Spike Kids? <laughs> no. And it was a family of five kids, and they were so poor that they only used one bath for oh, everyone. There is. Oh, it one was bath. bath. And I would, dude, I was near last. And it's like, the water's only Ooh. like, water, like so an- you, ankle height water. You, Bathed at their house. Yeah, you I had no idea. Bike? I had no idea what the rules were. Did you just were. say, I was no, like, yeah, whatever you guys it? go? Huh? Did you say, oh, I'll skip the bar? What do they do? Draw sticks and whoever gets the shortest one, yeah, you're last. Well, yeah, whoever. I forget like what, what the process like? was, was it like but it was, yeah, it was light, but light brown. Yeah, and the water soap? was light brown. Oh, light yeah, brown. Yeah, soap and like. But like the poor so bar. Is this in Australia or Germany? This is in Australia. You see, you're not even submerged. It's just ankle height water and they just get a cup and like slop it over themselves. It's just a fucking medieval Jerusalem. I swear to God. Wow. And I was like, "What the fuck, man?" Was it is- warm? Yeah, it was lukewarm. Have you tried oh, to bro. have you tried to contact them since? No, I don't. I don't speak of them anymore. Is this in Toowoomba? No, it's in Clifton. That's in the little Cl- town. Clifton. Before then, yeah, Clifton. It's right- where the fuck? That's a made up name. <laughs> right after Germany, there was Clifton. Where, where, yeah. Where's Clifton? It's like an hour from Toowoomba in a little country town. There's like what? What? That's what? where I spent my primary school time. Thirty people. Yeah, that's in actually the town. where the Bondi fellow was from. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Around, around Toowoomba. There's a, oh man, yeah. what's your best memory of Clifton? Probably that, dude. I'm looking this up. This just sounds like a word it's Michael real. would say. Clifton. It's like I left the podcast. Like I had peace and quiet for months in between when I stopped working here, and then after that podcast, there was just terms ringing in my. I can't even remember them now because I've just trauma blocked them. Clay and cling. Yeah, no, and no, it was just something you were saying, like some jingle. You know, I was saying it to my girlfriend like two weeks after, and she's like, "You have to stop this." <laughs> like, How is the girlfriend they, going? They yeah. get addicted. Ah, she man. left me. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, cool. really? Is that real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, look. Boys so on single. tour. No, but, no, but it's good because- um, Can I do your Tinder? No, no. Yeah, you can if you want. Oh. Um, but uh, uh, what is it? So I'm doing 18 bits in my stand-up and 11 of them are about her. So that's going to be awesome, performing them uh, night by night around the country, talking about the girlfriend I don't have anymore. <laughs> oh, well, at least it uh, won't be like fresh in your brain. Oh, no, it is. It is still- <laughs> Still, oh, still, what still was texting the, every day. Please, please. What was please. the main reason she left? Uh, she won't tell me. Maybe she found out about all the cheating. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. I'm still with her. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. But, she uh, knows about the cheating now. <laughs> no, <laughs> there is no cheating. <laughs> don't go cut it out like oh, it's an actual shit. thing. Oh, <laughs> there is no cheating, man. You kind of don't don't cut it, bro. What are you I'd fucking say, look doing? Too sus if we cut it, it'll look too sus if we cut it. Leave it in. I'm not. I'm not getting head for a week. 
So obviously, oh, you just cut the cut me saying B. cut it then. No, no, no. <laughs> don't say anything. Just okay. Next question. What, what are we talking about again? Clifton. All right, all right. Look, look. Let's yeah. move on. Let's Wait, move we on. Might need to review this one. All right, yeah, we'll review it just so it looks. Stop. Like no, 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 no. Leave it. Look, Leave all right. It. Let's move on to our to to the next segment. All right, we're gonna fucking we're gonna move on to PO box segment. All right, let's and Julian gets to open it. All right, uh, this is a segment where you guys just send in any random shit uh, to PO box this two is five sus. six. Take them four. <laughs> no, this is sus. I'll open it with I you, Julian. I already know this is sus. <laughs> oh, this no, is no, going to no, be no, a Julian. fucking either a pipe bomb, a glitter bomb, or it's just going to be a, a photo bomb. of Michael's. <laughs> just a normal bomb. <laughs> Uh, look, it could be lollies. It kills all it, of us. Dude, now Pipe Bomb's going to oh yeah, pipe bomb's gonna blow up a podcast. It's going to be, it's gonna be like hell. fucking that, that prank that we pulled on you where you were fucking metal detecting for that weird period of your life. And it was like Marty buried the photo of his asshole and then we went back oh, and it was man. fucking not there That's some right. random person has just like dug seen us burying something and been like oh this is drugs opened up a security box and it's just this photo of stretch you'd think that they put it back like <laughs> <look at us. laughs> and put it back. I'd take it oh man God. i hope it's candy well i, I can open candy. it i can open it if you yeah, really I'll open it. okay cool uh, mm. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. But I just stick a glare. Yeah, it's okay, mate. Don't, don't stab anyone. <laughs> just give it here. <laughs> the fuck are you doing that? Oh! <gasps> gotcha. Oh, oh, that was good. And what's it going to Please, be? Mate. it's lollies. Please be lollies. It's coming right Please be my lollies. way. Lollies. It's, it's from it's Joshua. M it's a bomb. Look, it says it's bomb on the back. It's a bomb. To flip it over, literally says bomb, bro. Whoa, how did you pick that? Bro, what the heck? It it's says a bomb. Show. Oh, it's Winchester Revival. It literally says it's a bomb. <laughs> oh, wow. It's fucking Winchester Revival. Oh, of course. <laughs> These guys oh are a God, band. It's Winchester Revival. Check right. them out, it's guys. Winchester they're Revival. A they're awesome oh, band. This? They're fucking legends. What's we that, love drugs? them. Hang on, did they there send us a oh, here. Do they gave us some merch. That's sick. Uh, it's not a bomb. It's uh, not a bomb. Oh, okay. Thank God. Sort of, sort of hey like guys, it. just letting you know, these ringworms are still eating out your content. Thought we'd send you some new t-shirts because the old ones are gay as fuck. <laughs> and we've thrown in some custom shirts because shirts are cheaper than sending you dildos. Come to one of our shows and you put cum as C-U-M. Uh, it's very for Klein. Crusty socks regards. Rise! <laughs> Winchester Revival. We should go. It, it we got to get there. That's what we've been meaning to. At the top it says it's not a bomb. How weird is that? I know, that's yeah. so weird. Nostradamus and Bro, shit. That is, that's so full so like it. Okay, let's predict the next I massacre see. for Australia. Yeah, give us a look at the I reckon shirts. it's probably going to be this year. And? Oh, what my God. Of, oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, holy oh. shit. Wow, it's that's actually fucking beautiful. Yeah. I, I got a sticker too. Mm, brown, brown, brown. That one will oh, we'll put that one see, onto the computer. Things, there's just things that I forget about and, and then I get reminded the of them and it just makes me want to hack up my upper thighs. Just because you don't have hobbies? I've, I, oh. I reckon. Yeah, what do you got? Do you what know what I should have done? done? Do you know what? Went into the hospital. Oh, I I would put uh, a grand on it. A gram. A, a grand. A thousand dollars that I have a bigger sticker collection than you, and I've never spoken about it till. Yeah, but said. mine are more cooler and more unique. He I, re I reckon one of my stickers would be worth more than your whole. You, thing you collect stickers. Well, no, just because like you what get. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I, I used to love stickers because I was into like all that art shit. But then like certain uh, streetwear brands, when they like release one of one shirts or like one thing only, they send like stickers that don't get oh, released and then ever you can again. Sell them for more. Yeah. Um, well, Ma Matt sold a basketball card worth seven hundred dollars and thirty dollars. Oh yeah, because you were doing that fucking uh, that unboxing thick shit where you can buy films his hands. Films his hands and he unboxes. Didn't I swear I watched a fucking podcast of Can we you upload one, where, where you said that he was going to start doing that as his content. Are you going to have like a voiceover, like your own voice? Hey, Did guys, we welcome that? back Wait, to have the you, Brown. You Come haven't on. started doing that. Well, no, 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 I Okay, started. don't. Dude, don't. Imagine that, dude. Hey, hey, guys, welcome back to Brown Town. Today I'm opening uh, another pack. And, and then you just oh. start describing what you're opening. Mm. Yeah, you should do well. reaction videos, but there's no talking. It's just the actual video. It's, just, you, it's like, just like the everyday man's reaction because people like just, reactors are usually like, oh, ha, ha, but just him sitting there, just like eating a bag of chips and the yeah, bag of chips sort and of like all the videos are so heavy, like headings and, and he's just sitting there completely straight face. 
can go into a bag of someone, Red Rock Deli. Someone it's like burned a family it. pack. It's a family <laughs> pack. And he's just getting the whole pack down before Dude, it's Dude, can finished. you please do that? Just upload then, one video, whether it's just like, yeah, like that fucking, a Serbian film. I would and watch And you're just sitting there, a share family-sized pack of Red Rock Delis. Just... And he's got white contacts in, so his eyes are completely white. <laughs> You have to just make that one like video. Blind. And that's that's the intro. It's like, hey, guys, finally started a YouTube channel and it's just a 37-minute long clip of you not saying a word, just eating a family bag of chips. I would love to watch it. I would love to watch that. Just doing that. Anyway. Sorry, I spaced out. Well, yeah, that's a video that's coming, so watch out for it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I want to film that tonight. <laughs> All right, look, we're going to fuck off and have a last little bong break. So say goodbye to Julian. We'll be right back to the Bye, prank. guys. Uh, buy tickets to my shows. Yeah, go, to, it's, it's, uh, go to julianwoods.com. It's actually au. funny. It's actually very funny. Julianwoods.au. You can see, the, see the history-making first ever stand-up tour of Julian Woods. You can say, oh, it's the first one when he's big and ODs. Yeah, that's so true. Well, Ooh. I've... Got a year left until I OD. No, the 27 Club. Oh, I can still join them. Oh. Man, there you we're go. well past. So that if that's not more motivation by ticket, I don't know where this. Could yeah, if be I dead. sell out the Princess do- Theatre, I'll <laughs> pull myself on stage. Yes. Dude, let's let's be honest, sell he does so have so much. Yeah, he does have do on the off chance. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, um, yeah, let's talk about my mental health, boys, because it's actually. Yeah, no, yeah. Cut, cut that shit. Uh, we're not talking about that shit. Here's a sticker. And we're back. It's uh, prank call time, guys. <laughs> you guys keep sending your prank calls in. Go on, man. Get it out of your system. No, you go first. Keep sending your prank call suggestions in. We're going to we try multiple every week, okay? A lot of the time people don't answer because people don't answer their phones anymore. But if you're sending your suggestion, we will try and get around to it, okay? Send in as much detail as you can if, for your prank calls, all right? Hit it, Brown. Hit it. Oh, what's the words again? Your, your time. Times. Your time is here for us to waste. Picking up your phone was the first mistake. Ha ha. Ha ha. It's, it's prank been call. Time. Okay, so we've got a couple to choose from, but I'm liking this one. Okay, so this guy is um on LinkedIn. It's, it's her dad that she's dobbing in. Was thinking you could call and say um that you've seen his seen his profile and want to offer him a job and with some weird sort of oh electrician hi des speaking yeah g'day des my name's mr carl arkansas and i'm just calling i've just found your um ad in on on linkedin believe it or not um and i was just wondering i i see you you are currently seeking some employment i was just wondering if if you are still seeking employment yeah look always Always take and, and discuss opportunities. Okay, great. So, so Des, I know you've got some stuff listed here, but um, so what's what's your background exactly in the in the mining space? Oh, my background's really um, commercial, so contracts, uh, project controls, um, some project management. Okay. Um, underground, above ground. Underground. Okay, that's good. Okay, great. Yep. So, um, mate, I'm, I'm calling in regards to um, one of um, my employers. He's currently looking for. It's it's a bit of a strange job. So he owns a lot of land um, in kind of Western Australia and even in the Northern Territory quite a bit. Um, and he's looking for uh, a miner basically to come and excavate some of his land just to see if he's got some stuff underground okay so you really want a geotechnical um company yeah like a um, like a private a a private (laughs) miner and um the apparently and and this is just what i've been told but apparently there is a chance that there are some fossils uh, especially on the land in the in the northern territory like some 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 dinosaur bones and stuff like that so um if if you know if you were to stumble across some dinosaur bones and um some sort of rare old animals, you know, that that would be part of the job as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a heritage. Um, yeah, that's correct. College, yeah. Um, So look, um, once you flick me your details, I know a couple of people that um, can assist with that. Okay. 
Um, and I also have a, a lawyer I, I work with who really has that background. Sure. Do you, um, do, sorry, just a few other questions. Um, do, you don't have your helicopter license yet. I don't see it listed here on your ad. Um, would you be open to, if we would obviously um, fund it, would you be open to getting your helicopter license? And also, um, the um, my employer has, he's got a fair few employees already. They're all kind of young um, Chinese uh, sort of teenagers. Um, they don't speak much English. Would you be comfortable working with the kind of the, the Chinese children? That, that would kind of be... Um, I guess your assistants, your labourers, um, and and would help you kind of around the yard. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, so they'd be so they'd be there for digging. For yeah, they'd be there I for think, the digging. Also, I do know a guy. His name's Julian. Right. He's he's actually very good. at at that, he'd probably be really good on the ground there. Yeah, well, look, he's he's very specific with who he employs, and the um the Chinese children there a lot cheaper to employ. So I'm sure he'd be open to recommendations for other staff from you. But if they're kind of you know wanting expecting ten fifteen dollars an hour, he'll probably have to give them a pass just because of the arrangement he has with the current uh, stock of Chinese children that, that he yeah. has. Yeah, so but, that might be a little bit problematic because the moral rights and modern slavery laws in in Australia won't allow that to happen. Yeah, right. Well, he does have um, permits and stuff for them. That's what he's told me. But yeah, look, that we might require some discretion there. Um, just just when it comes to the kids, and they kind of they they keep to themselves. You just give them a shovel, and they'll just go for hours. Um, and then you know you can give them water and drink bags and stuff. Um, you know, and every, some every, bread. Probably Every twelve hours, <laughs> no, they they do get fed. There is there is a buffet um available at the end of the day, so so they do get fed. But um yeah, they 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 they're hardworking. They're hardworking kids. Absolutely. And look, who knows? They, you know, they they can work twenty four hours a day because I don't want people stopping. <laughs> yeah, no, look, there'll be there's there's definitely breaks for them. Um, and obviously, um, with a more qualified position like yours, it, none of those kind of um, arrangements would apply to your position. You would have um, a very normal job, kind of like you would, you know, the hours you were working um, at the mines is 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 uh, the kind of hours you could expect in this role. Oh, no, no, that sounds fantastic. Um, so what's your, um, give me your email. Yeah, sure. So Carl, K-A-R-L, not C. Yeah. Arkinson. Arkinson, yep. yep. A-R-K-I-N. Yep. S O double N. Okay. At at gmail dot com. Oh, okay then. And and um, what's your company name? Yeah. So I work for um, an employment agency, and basically this um, client of ours, um, who has requested that his name not be um, given, he he's kind of like this um, this rich millionaire guy. Um, who's just employed us to help him find an employee aside from his okay, so what, current what's, uh, stuff. Your agency, my agency, employee yeah. and doy, employee and doy. So employee and then E N D O Y. Employee and doy. I'll just Google them now while we've got you know Carl while I've got you on the yeah. on the phone. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And and where's your? Where, are you um, located in Perth? No, there's a little um, town called Endoy, just kind of north um, of Perth. Endoy. Endoy. Have you heard? Where of it? is that close to? So it's just kind of north of Perth. If you just kind of are in Perth and you face north, and if you kind of run for two hundred kilometres, you'd, you'd you'd run straight through Endoy. It's a long way to run. Oh, we'll drive, run, whatever, you, whatever you, however the fuck you get around. Yeah, no, no, that sounds very good. It's very interesting. So, uh, look, I, I will um, drop uh, your name to probably the A Triple C, yep, and um, and also um, Border Force at uh, the same time. So they they might want to talk to you. Uh, excuse me, that's I'm I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, no, that, that's. <laughs> oh, oh, he was clever. He was smart, man. He was detective. <laughs> Should we call him back and tell him it was a prank call? Um, maybe we tell his daughter to. <laughs>
Oh, is that, was that his uh, dad? Yeah. <laughs> You have reached the Oh no, he's not gonna answer. Call her, call her. <laughs> We've split up a fucking family. Imagine that if he set his dogs on her. Oh no, not like poor fing Milko. Yeah, Milko. Hello. Hey, um, we just pranked him. We fucked up. He he oh, was no. he was kinda going along with it for the first half, but then he kinda I think he clued on. But then he yeah. hung he hung up and um he won't accept our call back, so Maybe give him a buzz and just just let him know. Yeah, I'll let him know. Thanks for doing that anyways. Oh, so sorry, Charlotte. We, we got him for like, we had him at the start, but then as it kind of progressively got a bit weirder, he kind of, um, yeah, oh, he kind of cleared on. Oh, and I him too much. Yeah. He's become like, yeah, sensitive to it. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been the okay, Chinese well, thanks slave. For doing that. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Thanks. Sorry thanks, we didn't Charlotte. fuck with him, but um, we, we did get him for a bit. So, you know, you can hack into him about that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks, guys. Right, See, nice. ya. See ya. See ya, mate. <laughs> she seemed a bit disappointed that we didn't get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Employ and doy. Employ and doy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> It was Man. so cringe when you so cringe when you just turn from professional to yeah, however the fuck you want to get there. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I've gone too far. Employee and doing. Anyway, guys, yeah. don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave a five star review. Keep this fucking podcast chain a tr- churning. <laughs> and um, look, we're not right up there, but we're getting back to the best, and yeah. we're pretty close to being the best. It's hard to be number one all the time. Sometimes you need to break down the mid pack for a bit when you're fucked. Then come back up. We're the best. 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 We're the best.